This is question number three from the 4.3 homework. Um, if I'm going to solve this using um, elimination, the first thing I really need is I need my x and my y on the same side for both equations. So the first thing I'm going to do is start to reorder this equation right here because I want the x on the other side. So if I'm going to rewrite that equation that I have there, 9y equals 7x minus 41. I want the 7 on the other side, so I'm going to move this over to here. And so I'm going to subtract 7x from both sides. And so my first equation is 7x minus y equals 17. My second equation is going to be negative 7x plus 9y is equal to negative 41. So right here, negative 7x plus 9y is equal to negative 41. So that, this system is the same as this system, it's just in a, written in a different order. But now by getting our x and y's on the same side and matching them up, what we want to have happen is we want to be able to add these two equations together and have one of our two variables cancel out. Now, it never matters which one it is. Sometimes one's easier than the other. And in this case, our x's are already set up to cancel out. Um, because if I add these together and combine like terms, I'm going to have 7 minus 7, which is 0. So if I add these together, my x's cancel out, which is what I want. I want one of them to cancel out. Remember, that's a negative 1 right there. So I have negative y plus 9y would be 8y. Okay, and then you have 17 minus 41 on the other side, which would be negative 24. Okay, now divide both sides by an 8, and you should get y is equal to negative 3. If you are getting fractions when you know you shouldn't be, if that's the mistake that you see you're making every time, one of the first places you should check is to make sure that you're dividing in the correct order here. A common mistake is to, instead of dividing both sides by 8, students will divide both sides by negative 24. That's going to just give you a fraction instead of a whole number that you need. Okay, so that's a place you should check first. All right, so we have found our y value. We also need our x value. So I'm going to take this number and plug it in for y in either one of these two. Now, personally, I think this one looks easier to deal with, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so if I'm taking this and I'm plugging it in here, I have 7x minus, I'm plugging in a negative 3, and that's supposed to equal to 17. Well, this is 7x minus a negative, so that is the same as 7x plus 3 equal to 17. Okay, so now we want the, the x by itself. I want to move the 3 over to the right, so I subtract 3 from both sides. I get 7x is equal to 14. Let's divide both sides by a 7. And we get x is equal to 2. So we found our x and we have our y. All we need now is to write our answer. Our answer is always the ordered pair x, y. So the answer here would be the point 2, negative 3. And we are done. To check, I would take 2, plug it in for x, take negative 3, plug it into y. It needs to work in both equations. If it works in one and not the other, you made a mistake.